Hey everyone, my name is Mario DeSanza and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Canon Rebel T3i and whether it's still worth using in 2023. First of all, let's talk about the camera's specs. Now the Canon Rebel T3i is an 18 megapixel DSLR that was released back in 2011. It has a nine point autofocus system that is unfortunately not continuous, shoots 1080p video up to 30 frames per second, has a flip out screen and an external microphone input. While these specs are definitely not impressive as some of the newer cameras on the market, the T3i can still produce some pretty decent content. Now this is more of a photo camera, so here's a couple of photos that I took on the T3i and one video that I took using two LED light panels that I got off of eBay. Now one of the main advantages of using the T3i in 2023 is the affordability. You can find these nowadays for like $150 anywhere like eBay or Facebook Marketplace and sometimes you'll even find them with a couple lenses. Uh, sometimes you'll find the kit lens which is the 18-55 to uh, EFS from Canon. Pretty decent lens, again not the best but something you can get for free sometimes when you buy the camera. For photos you can go up to about 12800 ISO but it definitely gets noisy as you get up there. The autofocus is decently fast, but the lack of continuous autofocus does make this camera a bit bad for something like vlogging. If that's not a big thing for you though, you can still focus manually or using the flip out screen. Low light is definitely not the T3i's strong suit, but with a bit of a lighting setup, you can get some decent video out of the camera like I did here. When it comes to battery life, it's pretty standard of other cameras around this age. Uh, I'd recommend picking up a battery grip if you're planning on using this camera for longer periods of time. If you're just taking it out to take a couple of pictures, you're not going to need to buy them. Um, T3i does have a cropped sensor, and you're going to be missing out on a full frame sensor, but if you're using this as like a family photo camera, that shouldn't really bother you too much. Um, lens compatibility is pretty good as the T3i uses the Canon EF mount. So the question is, is the Canon Rebel T3i worth using in 2023? And I think it all depends on your situation and depending on how much you're really gonna pay for the camera. Um, this personally, I was given this uh, with somebody else's, so I didn't obviously pay for it, um, but I know that a lot of people can pick these cameras up nowadays for about $150, and sometimes you can find a really good deal. We're talking 90 to $100, and that is like nothing for a camera like this. Um, personally, I would say if you have $150 or even a little bit more, I would go for a slightly more expensive camera like the Panasonic GH3 or if you're looking for something a little bit smaller because the T3i does get a little bit big with the battery grip on there, um, I would advise going for something like the EOS M, which is a very similar camera, it has the same sensor, but it's a much smaller form factor and I'm looking at picking one of those up for myself soon. When it really comes down to it, anybody in the market for a $150-ish camera, uh, I personally would not advise picking up the Canon Rebel T3i. I would say to go for something a little bit better, like I said, the 60D or something similar. Um, but if you do come across some kind of crazy deal, we're talking $90, $100, even $80, if you're really lucky or you get a nice deal with some lenses, it would make a lot of sense to pick this camera up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.